Hello, Luis Alonso. Good evening. Good Hello, evening, teacher. Patricia. How are you? I am fine. And you? You are in Zacatecoluca? Um, actually, I am. Uh, I am in <laughs> San Juan Manuelco. San Juan Manuelco. Ah, okay. But uh, <clears throat> I work in Zacatecoluca. Ah, okay. And, in the hospital. Yes. And my clinic okay. is, is in Zacatecoluca, too. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> in the weather? Ah, here is really hot. And I am, I am I am with uh, allergy. Ah, yeah. Enchalate is hot. Too hot. Yeah. Yes. Today is the, the, la, the last day. The last class. The last class, yes. <clears throat> wow. Yes, it's the last class. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Walter. Hi, Walter. How are you? Hi, today is the last class. I, I imagine it today yes. I'm going to the party. Wow. Zoom party. Zoom party. With pupusa. With pupusa. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Amilcar. Hi. How are you? How are you being? Oh, yeah. Today is the last class. Okay. Uh, so has been uh, a little difficult, this topic. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yesterday was a little uh, difficult. Yes. But I tried, I tried all day okay. so, but it's so interesting to try to yeah. understand that it yeah. is so yes. applying yeah yes but yeah, when but, but to... when you try to 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 to, to speak or talk yes. i never i never identify the structure about that but, <laughs> but yes. it's so interesting to try to understand okay <laughs> yes. We have to try to understand something. I don't know. I heard a teacher uh, told us about the next course, probably start the next week, right? I don't think so. The next week? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Someone but, uh, told us the, yesterday. The uh, corporativo. Right? Yesterday, yes. so, uh, someone tell us um, he received a message about that. You? You received? No, no. 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 Someone tell us yesterday. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joaquin. <laughs> Are you mute, Joaquin? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joaquin. <laughs> Are you mute? Are you mute? <laughs> I can hear you. Are you mute, Joaquin? <laughs> I 
I, uh, right. <laughs> hoy, ok, hoy sí. No, oh, yes. <laughs> What happened? Walter is the teacher now. No. O oh, Patricia. The teacher is Patricia. Patricia. Ah, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Hi, I am. Hi. Good evening. Sorry, the microphone wasn't working. How are you? How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. I have that flu. You guys, hold on. Why can't I not hear you? There you go. Hello? Can you hear Hello. me? Yes, teacher. Yes, we can yes, hear yes. you. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, um, good to see you guys. Welcome. All right, so today is the last day, guys. We're going to go over the final assessment, and we're going to continue talking about relative clauses, defining and non-defining relative clauses, right? Um, how are you guys? How, how, was, how, was, um, how was your work yesterday? I mean, today. Can, can you hear me, guys? Hello. Yes, teacher. Oh. My day today was very, very quiet because I only attend attended three patients in my clinic and four patients in the uh, Seguro Social. And <clears throat> but I have the flu and <clears throat> I am not really good. But I'm trying to to. To be better soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well. Uh. So. So. So you work. You work in a in a lease. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. In the nice. emergency. The emergency department. Yeah. Nice. Like oh, so you, you're, you're, but you're a doctor, right? Yes, I am a gynecology. A, gyne a gynecologist. Yes. Nice, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, awesome. And I want to 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 learn English. <laughs> no, that that is that is absolutely great. That is absolutely great. You, you're doing a good job. All right, guys. So welcome aboard. It's good to see you here, guys. Um, let's start the presentation. So yesterday we were reviewing right defining <laughs> versus non-defining relative clauses, right? So we went into a bunch of um. We went into we we went over the breakdown of what becomes a defining and non-defining relative clause, right? So we know what a clause is. We know why a, it's called defining, why it's called non-defining, or we should know, right? And we know that defining and non-defining relative clauses are depending independent, right? So they are categories, right? So what is the difference, guys, between Defining and non-defining relative clauses according to what we saw yesterday. Yes, one, I, I think one of the difference is the use of commas in the defining. All right, very relative good, right? Clauses. Very good. So the use of commas, <laughs> right? The use of commas in the defining relative clauses, okay. Mm -hmm or non-defining, right? So, okay, all right. So the use of commas, what else, guys? What is, is a, a difference? And with a defining relative clause, we can use that. We can use that, okay. Yes. Very That's good. Matching to love the angle or in chalchuapa or in whatever. <laughs> yes, yes, we can use, we can use that, that is, that is correct. All right, what else, what else, what else is, um, you know, a difference between defining and versus non-defining relative clauses? <clears throat> You're forgetting the main, the, the, the main reason we're studying um, non-defining relative clauses, guys, what is it? What are they used for? To give extra information. Very good. So extra information. That's right. That is the difference, the main difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses, right? Okay. And uh, these are 
Dependent or independent, guys? Yes, Which it, one? It, 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 um, dependent. Well, they are dependent, guys. Dependent. They are dependent, they, right? They are dependent. Yeah, okay, dependent. so they're always dependent. Okay, so that's a category, right? So, so yes, guys. Okay, so it provides six information. Okay, so <clears throat> I have a couple of exercises for you guys. Uh, just um, let me help you with the first one, and then you're going to continue to doing the other ones, okay? So let's go over the first one here. So it says, she worked for a man. The man used to be an athlete, right? So let's, let's take a look at that, right? So she, hold on. So she, she worked for the man. And then it says, come on, right? The man used to be an athlete. All right, so in the exercise, all right, so in this exercise, all right, we're gonna have to turn this into, oh, and it's like this, hold on. We're gonna have to turn this into defining or non-defining relative clauses, okay? So let's see, all right. So she worked for the man, the man used to be an athlete. So how could we turn this into a relative clause? She was for the man that used to be an athlete. Okay, so she what? I'm sorry. She worked for the man who used mm -hmm. to be an athlete. Used to be an athlete. Repeat, athlete. 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 Very good. All right. Athlete. So very good, guys. So she worked athlete. for the man who used to be an athlete, right? And this is how you would turn it into. A relative clause. So, what type of relative clause is it? Defining or non-defining? Uh, oh, defining. Non-defining. Because there are no commas. Because there are no commas. Okay. Hmm. This is a this is a tricky question. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, Luis, go ahead. But uh, he take uh, more uh, information. Mm, okay. So Who remember, used guys. To be an athletic. An athlete, right? Athlete. So re re Excuse yes. Re remember something, guys. The yeah. what makes the difference between a defining or a non-defining relative clause is the extra information, right? Extra information. Okay, so if it is non-defining, means what? Extra information or or important information or necessary information? Non-defining, necessary information. Yes. Okay, it is necessary information, right? Okay, so this, in this case, guys, if we do not have a comma here, this is a defining one, right? So that means that this part, because we have two clauses here, right? We have clause number one, correct? Yes. yes. We have clause number one here. Dependent. And then we have clause number two here, which is okay. who used to, oh, uh, 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 all right. who used uh -huh. to be an athlete, right? And athlete. this right here, right? And this right here is the clause number two. So yes. because there is no comma here, we know that this is a defining relative clause. So this information, this part of the information is relative, right? To it's, 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 um, it's relative to this information, right? So it's important. It's important for this clause right here, okay? All right, so very good guys, very good. So I want you guys, okay, you're gonna complete the sentences that we got in um that we got in the exercise hold on there you go all right so you're going to complete the sentences that we got in the exercise and then i want you to determine if they are defining or non-defining or if you can turn in turn them into a non-defining relative clause okay so you got uh around 15 and then we're gonna have some conversation practice where i'm gonna give you feedback 
Um, today, guys, well, yesterday we went over yesterday we went over the exercises from the section four. Today we're going to go over the final assessment answers. Okay, so whatever mm -hmm. answers, whatever today, guys. Today, actually, you know, we're going to answer um, everything from section four and and fi the final exam. If you're missing something from section four, although we've done that already, right? So we're going to go over that too. So. Uh, do my favor, guys. Um, I, I can send this if you want, but if, if it is easier for you guys to just take a screenshot and send it to the group, I would really appreciate it. Right quick, just let me know when you do it so I can move or move on over the other uh, slide, okay? All right, did you take a screenshot? I'll, I'll do it. Hold on. All right, all right. Number two, guys. The sec, the the second part. Okay. All right. We good. All right. And the third one. Let me check something. It's okay. All right. Pretty good, guys. So uh, let's get started, and then we're going to come back and check, uh, uh, check the answers together, okay? And the All number right, 15, we cannot see it. Oh, you cannot, you can't see the cam, sorry. Yeah. Hold on. There you go. The television oh. was stolen. Uh, the television was bought 20 years ago. <laughs> All right, pretty good guys. So let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go, guys. Hey, how are you doing, Joaquin? How, everything good? Um, yes, teacher. Awesome. So, you uh, do the exercise together with Helen. If you can share the screen, that would be awesome. Okay. Yes. Um, I have a, a, a screen in my in my cell phone. Mm hmm. You have okay. You have the screen on your cell phone. I I don't listen, Helen Guerra. You you don't hear what? Hi, I'm here. Okay, All right. <laughs> He's there. Yeah, in my case as well. I have uh my cell. Phone. I think I think she got disconnected. Teacher, I I I can listen to, um, your what you can, what what we are going to do in, in these cases. In this case. So I'm gonna show you the screen, okay? 
So you're gonna turn these sentences into um, relative clauses, okay? So you're gonna mm -hmm. use, my sister has three children and my sister lives in Australia. Okay. All right, so for example, my sister has, my sister, right? You could say who lives in Australia has three children. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. And then you're going to tell me if it is a defining or a non defining relative clause. I'm going to get you together with somebody else since you are working alone here. Give me one moment, please. And, and how are you? How do you feel? How do you feel the, the class? Okay. For example, my sister uh, who lives in Australia has three children. Exactly, right? And then you're gonna determine if that is, def if that is defining or non-defining, okay? Hey, uh, Anna Granados is here again. And Hello, I, Anna. Uh, I think uh, the, that is uh, non-defining clauses, relative clauses. Okay, yeah. So write in down in your, I, I needed to answer all of them, right? Because it's 50, 15 questions. So after you're done, all right, I want you to, I mean, write them down in your notebook, okay? Because I'm going to ask you after we go back to the main session, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, sorry. Okay, that's okay, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Daniel. Uh, let's work together, guys, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you very much. Hello, but Patricia. we are hello. hello. Oh, here is here is the the teacher. Teacher, tell me. Can you help us? Yes, with what? Uh, because we we didn't understand that your indication. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Um, you're gonna create a relative clause out of the sentences that we got here. Right. So, for example, she worked for she worked for a man. The man used to be an athlete. Right. So you can say you can say instead of saying that you can turn it into one and say she like this. Right. She, she worked, worked for, for a man, man who used to be used. an athlete. OK, mm -hmm. that's okay. it. You're going to do that with all sentences. OK. In the second in the second one. I think that is they called a lawyer who lived nearby. That is correct. Yes. So you're going to do that in your notebook. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Hi. Uh, we Hi. belong uh, to my father. Guys and girls. Hi. Uh, Hi. Good. Good. Did we get the instructions? Yeah, um, yes. I think so. <laughs> all, right, all right, awesome. If you need any help, I think there is a there is a button here where, that you can press so you can you you know you can call call out for help. Okay. Oh, okay. All okay. Right. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. So. Number three. I sent an email to my brother who lives in Australia. Scary teacher. Hey guys, did we get the do you need any do you need any help guys or are we good? Yes, please. What, uh, what? The number three, I sent an email to my brother who lives in Australia? I sent an email to my brother who lives in Australia. Yeah, that is correct. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, so sir. Uh, and number four, uh, the customer liked the waitress. Hi guys. Uh, and girls everything good yeah i um Jose Luis is having issues with his make and so we are just chatting <laughs> okay okay 
Um, but you need to resolve the exercises that I sent to the WhatsApp group, okay? Because we're yeah, gonna we're review working. them. Okay, you're yeah. working on that. Okay, great. Thank you, thank you. If you need any help, uh, there is a button here that you can press so you can call out my attention. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Hello, guys and girls. Everything good? Uh, yes. No, yes. But is it is defining versus not defining relative? Yes. Oh. Is the number seven. Number seven. She loves, she she loves, loves books. 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 Mm. Mm. Books. I don't know. I don't know. You... Books. Which? No, 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 no. I don't know. What can I... What can we use? Chilo um, book. In the seven, Mister, I hmm. don't know. Number seven. Yes. Seven. book. Chilo book. The books have happy the endings. Have... Ending. Mm. All right, so you can say she loves that her books have. that have happy endings, uh -huh. yes. That have. That have. That have. Yes, yes. Okay, it's, it's a thing, that. Yes. But, yes. okay, okay. Number eight. Number they eight. Live in the... Defining or defining? Yeah, makes sense. Hey, guys and girls, how are you? Um, Hello. Do you need any help? Hi. Um, yeah, we're actually we're talking about the difference between the defining and not defining clauses. Okay, everything good. Yeah, but we figured it out. Oh, you figured it out? Okay. Yeah, by yeah. looking the image that you well, I don't know if that in yeah, you looked at an image uh, that is the same from the last from the past slide. Last slide. The, the you were presenting the 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 image is the same from the last slide that I was yeah, presenting with you. Yeah, the one the that was uh like uh, demonstrating what are the difference between one and the other. I'm not understanding. Like using commas. Oh yes. Like using yes. commas. Yes. yes. I think that we were looking to uh like a chart that you. That you showed us on last class to look uh, at the difference between oh, the. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I got it. I got it. So everything goes right? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes, yes, I have yes. to check on the other guys. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you. Outfit. Mm -hmm. The color of the outfit, they, they, are, they are telling us. Yeah. So I believe that it's the fine. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes. Hey, guys and girls, how are you? Any help needed? No, we're good. Hey, hi, teacher. Uh, I have finished. Uh, Ten sentences. You finished ten sentences. All right. All right. Very good. So keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Okay. We're gonna go back in a moment so we can solve them together. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. The need has for that. Mm -hmm. For example, I when when I use the money. Uh, that belong to John, it is yeah. in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, in this, in, in this case, case, in this case, is 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 it's defining clause. Defining clause, okay. Mm -hmm. But I, but I can, but I can use uh, the money who belongs uh, the to John 
It is in the kitchen. And in this case, in this case, will be will be non-defining clauses because we're using commas and and the and the relative pronouns. Uh, who? Mm, the money is in the kitchen. That belongs to John. The money is in the kitchen. Which one? Which one are you doing, guys? Uh, I think that is a defining defining clause, but <clears throat> the number uh, thirteen. Number thirteen. Mm -hmm. did, did you the solve it already? In, the money is in the kitchen. That belongs to John. The money is in the kitchen, and then what? That belongs. It doesn't need. To John. It doesn't need comma. Mm, no, but that is incorrect. That's not the answer. Mm. Yes, uh, analyze it because it has to follow, you know, a certain structure, right? If you say the money in the kitchen that belongs to John, right? That sounds incomplete. Yeah, yes. without, without more information. Yes, so. Great. We're going to solve them together, right? But try to come up with the right answer first, okay? Good job. Good job. Zoom. How are you, how are you doing here? Ah, yes, teacher. We finished yet. We have finished. And uh, we we were uh, reading the sentence, sentence? sentences. Um, sentences again. And, but uh, Selena. Uh, <clears throat> Selena said that she isn't in the WhatsApp group, and that is. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so. Yes, Selena. <clears throat> I, but I, teacher, I I have the screenshot in, in my computer. The two blocks okay. of sentences. And, All right. But so. the the second block, no, I don't have. Okay. All right. No worries. Okay. So we're gonna go back now, and we're gonna try to solve them together. Okay. Okay, but but we solved. All right, yeah. very good, very good. Yes, that's great. All right. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Thank Let's you. Uh, go back now, girls. <laughs> All right. Let's. It's time for. You know, it's time for a review. Okay, so let's take a look at the answers and see how well we did. Uh, so, how do you feel? It was it difficult? No, that's easy. My answer <laughs> continue running. Yes, it sure. was. <laughs> this topic it, is really easy. It's really easy, right? Really, yeah. really easy. It's like for children, right? <laughs> uh, I don't all think right, so. Good. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so guys, all right. It's okay. You you were doing great. Uh, people I saw were doing really, really good. So I think, you know, most of us understood, right? So we're going to go over the answers now. And um, before that, guys, let me ask you something. Did you find both defining and non-defining clauses in your answers or not? Yes, we did. You did? <laughs> awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at that then. Okay, so she worked for a man, right? What is the answer here? Which? Okay, she worked. For a man. Uh -huh. Works for a man who used to be an athlete. Who used to be an athlete, right? Very good. So see, we're not gonna repeat. We're not gonna repeat, guys, the uh the subject, right? So a man, a man, right? So she worked for a man who used to be an athlete. Very good. Defining or non-defining. Not defining. Non defining. Are you sure? What is what do we use? A, I hold on. What do we use a non defining clause for? What makes it non defining? It's extra information used to be an attack. Okay, very good. It's extra information, right? 
and extra information is separated by commas. Okay, so yeah. no, the, this idea is complete. This is defining, all right? All right, this is defining. A non-defining, right, will always have commas, okay, by the way. So the fact that it doesn't have commas, you know, it makes it, makes it like uh, necessary information, okay? So what's, that's one way you can determine this, okay? They call the lawyer, so what is the answer here? They call the lawyer, the lawyer who lives nearby. Who lived nearby, right? The pronunciation guys lived. Okay, so they yeah. call they call yeah. the lawyer who lived nearby. Okay, very good, <laughs> right? Defining or not defining? Defining. 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 Very good. Defining. Good job. I sent an email to my brother. My brother lives in Australia. What about this? I sent an email to my brother who lives. My brother who lives, lives, lives in Australia, lives right? In Australia. Australia, guys. Australia. 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 Yes. Australia. All right. The customer liked the waitress. The waitress was very friendly. What about these guys? The customer liked. Either. The waiters who was a very friendly. Was a very friendly? No. Who oh. was very was friendly, right? That very was very friendly. friendly or who was very friendly. You can say that too. Let's, let's that was that, very right? friendly. So we broke the computer. The computer belonged to my father. So what about <laughs> this? We broke the computer that belonged to my father. We broke which the computer, be, right? Which that which that long you can say which belong, three, uh -huh. right? That belonged to my father. Okay. We broke the computer that belonged to my father. Which Very good. Very good. Okay, so defining or not defining, guys. Oh, and we forgot defining or not defining uh number three. I sent an email to my brother who lives in Australia. That is defining, defining. right? Defining. The customer liked the waitress, so it was very friendly. That is. Define it, right? Um, we broke the computer that belonged to my father. Define it or not define it? Define it. Define it. Very good. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. So then uh, I dropped the I dropped a glass. The glass was uh, was new. I dropped that, a glass that a glass that was a glass that was new. Very good. So this is. Defining. 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 Very good. She loves books. The books have happy endings. She loves books that have happy endings. That have happy endings. Right. Very good. Good job. All right. Defining. So this is defining. Yes. Defining. defining. All right. They live in a city. The city is in, in the north of England. They live in a city. They live in a city. That is in the north of England. That is in the north of England. So I want I want you to notice, guys, how you know how uh, clauses, right? This is the 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 main reason we use you know um, relative clauses, right? Oh. To join two ideas together, right? The man the uh, the man in the garden, the man in the garden uh, is wearing a blue jumper. What about this? That um, the man is in the garden. Who is that, wearing a blue that jumper? Garden is, that is. Who is? is the man who is in the garden is wearing a blue jumper. Very good. The man who is in the garden is wearing a jumper. jumper very good job okay so what is this defining or not defining not defining not defining not very good good job the girl works in a bank the girl is from india bless you Thank the girl who works in the bank is from india the girl uh -huh. works come on or come on no. 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 The girl works in a bank 
in the family. Is familiar? No. Who? No, that is from the, the girl comma. The girl comma. Who works in a bank? Who works in comma, a bank. Comma. Is from, is from India. India. Who is from India? No, okay. the girl comma who works in a bank. You can say this. The, or or that, you can say okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. The girl guys, right? Who is from India? Yeah, works okay. in works. a bank. There you go. So okay. defining, defining, or non-defining. Non-defining. Right. So this right here would be non-defining. Right. So hold on. All right. So we're gonna go non-defining. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, next one. My sister has three children. She lives in. She lives in Australia. My sister who has three children. All right. So my, my sister. sister Roma, my sister, my sister, sister lives in a, who lives sister, in Australia. Who lives in who lives my sister in who lives in, a, in Australia has three, has three children. children, right? Has Very good. Think, think my sister who lives in Australia mm -hmm. has three children. Sorry guys, I mean non defined. Uh, non defined. Very good. So this is non defining, right? So non defining. All right, the waiter was rude. The waiter was wearing a blue shirt. The waiter was rude. The waiter who was who was wearing a blue shirt. Who was wearing a blue shirt? Was wearing a blue shirt. Oh, the the waiter was who was who was wearing Okay, who was wearing who was wearing a blue shirt? Who was wearing a blue shirt? Comma, right? Comma was rude. Was rude. Was rude. Was rude. Exactly. There you go. Uh, non-defining. 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 Right? Non so non-defining. All right. The money in the kitchen, the money belongs to John. The money. The money. The money, the money that belongs to my, John. That belongs to John. Is in the I kitchen. John, that belongs to John. To John. To John. It is in the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. All right. Is this correct? The money that belongs to John is in the kitchen? The money that's in the oh. kitchen. No. Or oh, the money no. that is in the kitchen belongs to John. To John. So is it correct or incorrect? It's incorrect. Why? Why, why is it incorrect? Because be, after that, we after have to then, get the, the verb, verb to be. Is near to that. No. I think it's correct. In the kitchen. All right. Do you give up? Kitchen. You have to tell me if it's if it's correct or incorrect. But you have to tell me why. The money. The, the money the I belong. think that. So, the so point is it's the it's money it's that belongs guys ah. the money comma that belongs to john comma is in the kitchen if you don't place those commas it's incorrect <laughs> okay? all right okay. guys they are very important because without that you know uh it doesn't it's not it's not um extra information right and it is grammatically incorrect you cannot send an email imagine I don't know, maybe you work for the government, right? Imagine you send an email internationally and you don't place those commas, right? No, guys, you need to place them, okay? It wasn't great because we were missing the commas, okay? All right, so that's the reason why. The money that belongs to John is in the kitchen, okay? Very good. That is the answer, but we were missing commas. All right, the table got broken. And this is not defined, yes, not defined. Not defined. <laughs> All right, uh, the table got broken. The table was was my grandmother's. What about this? The table, comma, table, comma. <laughs> that, that was my grandmother's. That was my grandmother's, right? <laughs> comma, comma, got broken. Got broken. Got broken. All right, very good. The table that was my grandmother's got broken. Very good. So this is defining or non-defining? Non-defining. Non this is non-defining, right? Very good. The television was stolen. The television was bought 20 years ago. What about this? 
The television. The television, comma. Comma. The was about was about two years ago. Was stolen. Was it was stolen? All right, very good. The television that was bought 20 years ago was stolen, right? And this is non defining. Congratulations, guys. Good job, all right? Now, guys, if it wasn't clear, I think this clarified it a lot, right? Do we have any questions on defining and non defining relative clauses? No, teacher. All right, no, so we have we have we have one more practice, which is the speech practice. But before we get there, uh, just to save some time, right? Let's go over the final assessment, okay? So let's go over to module two. One out module two. What? Oh, this this is not this is not yours, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can see. Yes. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so I'm 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 starting the advanced three next. <laughs> next. Uh all right, guys. So number number well, number letter A. B. Right. The woman says the the more that more people. <clears throat> It's audio. Yeah, but what is the answer? No, I don't remember. I don't remember. All right, let's, you know what? Let, let's reveal them, okay? Two For... so weeks ago, I. What so, number is it, please? What number is it? So the the woman says that more people are using video calling to communicate online, right? Two more people are able to use video calling because the software it has improved, has been improved. All their video calling had problems such as such should be such as right, such as unclear audio. Today's video calling feature a clear sound and pitch. Right, uh, Jenny is disciplined and motivated to work. That is true. Jenny ma majored in history and politics. That is false. Jenny has never written for a newspaper before. That is false. Jenny thinks archaeology is exciting. That is true. Her counselor wants her to try new reporting. News reporting. That is true. Okay. Complete sentences, right? So, what is the answer for number one, guys? In the future, more online courses will be taken. Will, will be taken. <clears throat> taken, will be right? Taken. I can't shut down my computer until all my files. Have been, been downloaded. Downloaded. Been downloaded. Down, downloaded, guys. Downloaded. Mm. Downloaded. These days, chat rooms, blah, blah, blah. Days. Are, are being, being used. used. Are we used? Used. 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 I'm sorry. Used. Yes. Are being used. Okay. Sam? Has been offered. Has been offered. Has been offered. Okay. Offered. All right, very good. When I buy a new laptop, my old one will be recycled. Recycled will be recycled. Okay. Since blogging software became available, millions have been created. Have been created. Created. Right. Created. Created. All right. There you go, guys. You guys are really good. Those are the right answers. Okay. See tag questions and reduce relative clauses. What is the answer for number one? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't be be great if someone figured it? out how to? Hey, by mm -hmm. the way, guys. By the way, here you gotta make sure that you're using an apostrophe, because yes. if you have a Spanish keyword and you use something else, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a quotation mark. Okay, a quotation mm -hmm. mark is not the same as a an apostrophe. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Okay. So wouldn't it, right? It seems it seems kids spend way too much time playing computer games. Doesn't, doesn't it? it? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't Very good. It. Those infomercials on TV are so annoying. Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Very good. Aren't they? All right. Aren't uh, they? Buyers aren't 
Flyers. Flyers aren't good for advertising. For advertising. Are, they? Are, they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? All right. So I hate getting spams. <laughs> Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? I hate getting spams. Don't you? 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 Guys, where, what is the subject here? I hate getting I, 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 I. So? So? Don't, don't, I. don't I, right? Don't, don't, don't I. I. All right, very good. Rewrite the sentences. Just, uh, don't just you. Don't you. No, I don't you, teacher. No. No, the don't answer you, if, teacher. if, if, if all right, listen, listen, guys, let me, let me finish. <laughs> if the hey. answer, okay, if the answer, yeah. all right, is don't you, the answer from the platform is incorrect because you uh -huh. cannot say, I hate don't getting you. spams, don't you? No, you hate because the subject, because, because the subject is, I, the it's right so answer good. should be this. If the right answer in the platform is not this, it's incorrect, okay? Yes, it, it's, it's incorrect. Right. It, it, it says that it's done to you. Yeah, no, that, that is incorrect. Whoever did is incorrect because to, okay. to make it to, if that was the right answer, it should Good be, line. oh, you hate getting spams, right? Don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't you? You hate getting spams, don't you, right? I know. Okay. If I say, I, I hate getting spams, don't I? All right, Very got fun. it. So okay, okay. Right, so, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. so so uh, yes, good. So, I got it. Why? Because otherwise, guys, if the if it was don't you, we would not be following the rules from everything else. See, uh, yes. see, what? those are flyers are. See, uh, it uh, doesn't right. Uh, and uh, I yes. See, it doesn't make sense, right? You are and right. Okay. Part right. two. A person who's willing, Thank you, a teacher. person who's willing to work with sick people could be. Uh, you're welcome, guys. A person who's willing to work with sick people could be a good people nurse. Could be a good nurse. A person willing to willing with sick sick people could be a good nurse. A person willing to willing to work with could be a good nurse. nurse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone who is looking for paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Someone looking for paid, for paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Shouldn't be a small, right? Owner, very good. All right. Anyone who has good who has good voice is invited to audition for the choir. Choir with anyone. a good voice. Anyone, anyone. with a good voice. Choir. Anyone, anyone, what? Why a good voice? Anyone with a good voice. It's invited to audition for the choir. Choir, not choir. 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 Yes, choir. Choir. All right, someone who's interested in arts history might. Loved, it should be loved to, right? But lovido. <laughs> love to work in a museum. Love to work. Someone interested in art history, in art history might love to work in a museum. All right, very good. Let's check those answers. All right, so let's see. All right, oh, wow. we're gonna change that to don't you, but yeah. this is incorrect, okay? Okay, yeah. someone looking for paid vacation. All right, let's see the answer. Just uh, yes, yeah, I have a problem, teacher. I have a problem with the last one, the five. I don't know why, because it's the same. It might not be this. If 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 there is a problem, believe me, it's not the same. There is a small change, maybe there is an extra space, or there is there isn't any uh. A positive, right? But let's let's go number two, guys. Right? Someone looking for paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Okay, so let's yeah, check that. Correct. 
So let's check that. And that That's would be correct, right? And then uh, number five, all right, let's number go five. over number five. The answer is someone interested, someone. Someone interested in art history might love to work in a museum, period, right? So let's use that. <laughs> I'm gonna paste yes. that in the chat, guys. So if you want, if you if it isn't correct to you, I'm pasting I'm pasting it in the chat. Guys, do my favor if you have a lot of noise in the background, mute yourself right now because I cannot you, hear. Teacher. Correct. Yes. Thank nice. you. All right. That's very good. Cool. All right. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Choose the words. Right. This one is you know choosing the right answer. So people who work for. <laughs> themselves must be discipline discipline right notice guys notice that we don't say discipline right discipline okay discipline it takes it takes discipline. Originality. originality originality right originality. which is a noun originality. i admire tom he is passionate. Passionate. passionate about what he does right a technology company must be Innovative. 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 Right. Innovative. Right. Uh, Innovative. Decisive is as much or decisiveness? Decisive. Decisiveness. Decisiveness. Teaching requires a lot of? Patient. Patient or patient? Patient. 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 Patient is a noun, right? Patience. Patient is also a noun, but no. this is the person and this is the patience. Patient. The, uh, the feeling, right? Choosing a career path involves exploring. 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 Very good. Jen's job requires her to analyze, analyze. 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 information and report analyze. on it, right? <laughs> Everything nature. was a mess until the managers finally solved the, solved. Solved. Solved the problem, right? Solved. In accounting, it can be expensive to make, 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 make even, even the smallest even mistake. Even the mistake. Smallest. Sometimes it's easier to find, find, find solutions, solutions to problems on your own. On your own. A graphic on your artist own. generally Makes, 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 makes information visual. All right, good job, guys. Visually, not visually, visually. Visually. All right. Uh, and then finally, we have Brett hates talking to people <laughs> using MV3. True. Brett true. hates people. True. 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 False. 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 No, making yeah. crafts. Making crafts has become popular among. On crafters.org or G people can learn, learn how, how to, to make crafts. Craft. Crafts. Very good. Um chat rooms. What? Craft blocks. Crafts like making crafts. Both men and men. Both men and women. Women. Women, right? Very good. Ooh. All right, guys. So, well, this is false. <laughs> All right. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude um, module. Well, the, um, module number, module number, uh, the advanced module, guys, number two. Okay. <laughs> yes. Great. All right. For the so, next model, teacher, for the mo um, next model, please include to teach us how to sing the national anthem of the United States at least, because it's part of the culture of this language. All right, all right, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll have you, I'll have you teach that. You <laughs> have the, the next course, teacher? I, I don't, guys, to be honest with you, like, I am, like, they assign me uh, courses, right? I have, I have Inglés Avanzado Tres, uh, starting this Monday, I don't know if it is you or you, or if it is gonna be another group. If you have a class starting this coming Monday, then it's me, right? But okay. I, I guess, do you have a class starting this Monday? No, because we I don't know the invitation. Yet. Monday, teacher. Uh, so, so I yeah, I don't think it's you then. I, I will see you. Monday. Have, 
<laughs> yeah, so in that case, I think it's another <laughs> another group. Uh, another group. <laughs> yes, yes, but yeah. but anyways, guys, I I really enjoyed my time with you guys. I think that you, well, I really love the fact that you participated a lot. Um, if you um, if you want to learn more, guys, you know, continuing the program, right? Next step is um, advanced English two uh, three for you, right? And if you want to learn, guys, how to speak well, like learn the grammar, right? But uh, I, I try to learn phonetics, okay? Phonetics is what makes me sound the way I sound, you know? Otherwise, we don't, it doesn't matter, guys. You could be a real expert in grammar. You could be like, you can get a 10 in the TOEFL, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, not a 10, like they got like a thousand points, right? But you can get the best score possible in, in the TOEFL. But then you're still going, going to sound, and it's okay, right? Uh, but you're still going to sound Latino very Latino. That's because of the vowel sounds and consonant sounds. They are not the same, all right? They're not the same as in Spanish. So if you want to do that, look for vowel sounds on YouTube and learn them and find the logic behind them, right? Because people, and I'm going to give you an example, right? People, guys, would say, for example, money, right? Is that the right pronunciation? Money? It's not money, money. Guys. Money. Right? It's money, money. right? Money, money versus money, money right? Money. Pe people would say block, and it's not block, it's block. Black. 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 Very different, right? So Black. if you do wanna if you do wanna learn that, right? Um, there are like videos online. I have not seen anybody teaching that topic here in El Salvador from the people I know, guys, but I and I guess there is right. I, we teach them. I, I work at a, at a different place. I we teach that, but yeah. You know, that's that's what makes an accent, right? So if you do want to improve on that, that's my recommendation. Other than that, guys, it's been wonderful being with you. All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. To you. Too. Thank you, too, teacher. Thank you, for teacher. Bless you, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for all your time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.